Nice and big for me. Okay, it's going to be lots and lots of pressure there, okay? Yes, it's the nation's biggest fear. Not nice, not nice. When was the last time you saw a dentist? Going to the dentist. <laughs> and with over 90% of adults suffering from decayed or missing teeth, Anywhere. We're on the front line in the battle to save Britain's smile. No matter how bad you think your teeth are, I bet you I've seen worse, and probably this week, possibly today. So don't worry. Are you crying because you're happy or something? In the most intimate of relationships, you are like, all like your nails. Our dentists know all our secrets. I'm sorry. And there's nothing we can hide from them. It's definitely a window on the lifestyle because you can tell if somebody smokes, if they drink too much alcohol, so you can't really get away with anything. <laughs> Dental problems are now the fourth most common reason young people under 17 are admitted to hospital. And that means the children's department is one of the busiest in the frontline battle to save the nation's teeth. They're looking in my mouth, aren't they? And are they going to see how many rotten teeth you've got? I've been here before. No. And that daily diet of chocolate biscuits now requires drastic measures. Nine teeth. Nine. She's got 20 in her mouth, actually. I don't get it. Because you can't stop kids eating toffees. Keeps your kids up here. Fair enough. If the teeth falls out, fair enough. It's taken six and a half years of treatment, and today Martin is checking the implants that will hold James's new teeth. I just need to do a, a final check of the colours we're going to use here, mm -hmm. okay. because the final bridge is made of the porcelain teeth that's handmade. Yeah. Course, so. James's job as a driving instructor means he needs to put people at ease. At times, his hyperdontia has made this difficult. You're very sort of conscious of how you talk to people, and it can affect your confidence a little bit. I'm matching that. That's a pretty close match to your natural mm -hmm. teeth. It is going to be very odd having front teeth again. We move to the stage where we glue them in. So if we call it a point of no return, it's yeah. because this is where we fit it on in. There's a chance I'd probably be speaking a lot better because some words don't come out right because your tongue kind of flows through the gaps in the teeth a little bit weird. So there'll be a lot of good, a lot of good things coming, hopefully. That's where his arms land. Okay. And look in your eyes in the mirror. Yeah. Then, and then you can lick your lips. And the yeah. teeth together and a toothy grin. You can smile. I can, yeah. I can smile. Come back now. <laughs> I can, let's have a look. And open. Oh, I can pull, tell you're impressed with your work. He smiled. He smiled with us. In a sense, we have reached the end of his journey. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And he smiled. <laughs> so come with us behind the scenes of the University Dental Hospital of Manchester and meet the men and women whose job it is to make us smile. <laughs> Brace yourself, because the dentist will see you now.